Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm kind of doing an intro in my kitchen, but my desk area is here as well. And I'm editing a video that I never made an intro for because I wasn't sure if I was going to share it with you, but um, I'm excited to do so. So we're going to take a pause on fall DIYs for just one video. And I have a really fun DIY baby shower gift. And this could actually, I think, be used for like a wedding shower as well. So I'm going to explain kind of all that while we get started. I filmed this not necessarily intending to share it. I just thought, well, I'll put up the camera and if it works out that I can make a video, cool. If not, I was making this for my sister's baby shower. Um, so anyways, let's get into the DIY. All right, guys, so to get started, I have this little wooden crate. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby for, well, $16.99 and 40 or 50 percent off. And then I have some wooden dowels. These I picked up from Walmart. No, Hobby Lobby. They were cheaper at Hobby Lobby. And I had my dad cut them down to size and then some zip ties. So we're going to be making a little display thing. I don't even know what to call it. I've seen this in various places. I saw some ideas on Pinterest, which is kind of what I was following this after, but I think I've seen something on YouTube before too. And you can use any crate. Um, you don't necessarily have to have the open slats like I do here, but I wanted to use zip ties because I was putting this together and then taking it apart so that my mom could transport it um, out of state and then reassemble it for the shower because I could not be there myself, unfortunately. Um, I also wanted it to be something that could be taken apart and my sister could use <clears throat> what she wanted in the future. So I knew she probably wouldn't want this whole stand thing, but the crate she could use for anything. There's a really loud plane or helicopter overhead. Don't know if you can hear it, but you can see how I crisscrossed the poles with some zip ties and that held really, really well. You could also just glue them into the corners of the crate, but like I said, I wanted to be her to be able to take that apart and just use the crate for either toys or blankets or just bath towels. She doesn't have to use it for the baby. So that was kind of my thought on that. Um, and now I just took some wood glue and I'm um, attaching the dowel to the top and I'm just putting some painter's tape to hold it down and letting that dry. I just measured this based on the clothes you're gonna see that are gonna be hanging from it and the size of the crate. So I can't give you specific measurements, um, but just measure it for what you're gonna be putting on this. And then once the glue is dry, I'm wrapping around some twine, just kind of crisscrossing it and using some hot glue. And that held decent, but I'll be honest, my dad ended up having to put in a little nail at the top to hold them together better. So you may want to do that, or I might have just been too um, minimal with my glue, my wood glue and my hot glue. I probably could have gone a little bit more as I'm like watching this back, but it worked out fine. It did not end up falling apart, but he did put a little nail in at the top. So just going to wrap that around. No particular pattern. I'm just kind of letting, letting it do its thing and going to hot glue it to secure it. I don't really know exactly what to call this. I'll also look it up and see if there's like a name for what we're making here. And sorry for the camera work. Like I said, I was kind of just like, hey, I'm making this and I'm going to throw a camera up and if I can show you guys, then cool. So I have this um, vine from the Dollar Tree as well as these purple flowers. The theme for the shower was just different shades of purple. So that's what I was going with. And I didn't want to spend a ton of money on this part because I wanted to spend most of my money on like, you know, like the baby gifts. And so I thought, well, I don't want to go spend like $20 on a garland from Hobby Lobby that I don't know for sure if my sister will use again. So I just made this one and it actually came out really cute. I'm showing this to you in real time because I wanted to show you how I was doing it. My super glue gel bottle was busted, so it was coming out the side, which is why you see me using it like that. And I just found little spots on the vine and slid the flowers over that. And then I did some that were in between the leaves, which I'll be honest, it stays a lot better because that is a thicker piece. So you're actually like pushing it on over it and it has a better hold. And I start out with using just the super glue gel because I didn't, I don't know, I thought the hot glue might be too messy. I ended up going back and reinforcing it with some hot glue. So I would say, just go with hot glue from the beginning. I was trying to make sure it was going to be plenty sturdy for transport. I was afraid that it would end up um, in New York, we were in North Carolina, and I was afraid it was gonna arrive in New York and falling apart, and I didn't want that 
responsibility on my mom to put it all together because she had enough to do to handle the shower. So I was trying to make sure it was really, really gonna stay. So you can see here, I'm going back in with some hot glue, but I just interspersed the different shades of flowers from the Dollar Tree throughout and it was really pretty. I loved, um, I loved how this came out. And you could totally do this similar idea for just like home decor. And as I was talking with my mom, we were like, you know, you really could use this for a wedding shower. And um, from the crossbar up top, you could use like S hooks and hang, I don't know, like pot holders or kitchen utensils or like all sorts of stuff. So I definitely think you could make this, you know, for another purpose if you wanted. But I am just draping this garland across the top. And then I found this frame at the Dollar Tree and I liked, uh, well, it was the right size for the letter I found. I wanted to do the um, baby's name initial. And so I found this really, really pretty purple paper. This is actually the first thing I found. I knew I was gonna do purples. And when I found that paper, I was like, okay, we're going with this, we're making this happen. So we're going to cut that down to size. And I had bought this um, a letter initial and I wanted this to be something that could be on the gift, but that could also be cute in the baby's room as well so that something could be used afterwards. So, um, I was trying to figure out if I wanted it with the mat in it or not, because with the mat, it was a little bit of a tighter fit, but I felt like it just kind of elevated it and it looked better. So now I'm going to take the back of the frame itself and I'm using this Gorilla glue stick. I do like this, it's a really nice, strong glue, but I'm sure a regular glue stick would work as well. And I'm just gluing on the paper. And I'm just putting lots and lots of glue because I'm gonna then be attaching the uh, letter and so I wanted it to be a really firm hold with the paper so that the letter did not pull the paper off. So I'm gonna line it up and smooth it out really good. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do share budget-friendly DIYs on this channel. Usually it's home decor. This one is def definitely outside of the box of my norm, but it was really cute and I thought it would be just fun to share with you. <clears throat> so if you're into budget-friendly DIYs, then I'd love it if you would subscribe. And I'm just giving a really light coat of white paint on the letter just because there was a few scuffs on it, so I just wanted to clean it up a little bit. I didn't want to change the color, the pattern, of the paper had plenty of color, so I wanted to just leave this nice and neutral. And then I'm just going to hot glue it onto the paper. And I'm using my mat to kind of help me make sure I have it centered. And I didn't attach the mat at all, but I did decide to go with it. I just liked how it looked. Of course, we're not gonna be using the glass. There's no room for that. So now I'm gonna use some floral wire from Dollar Tree, and it's kind of thin, so I just doubled it up and twisted it together. And I'm just going to thread that through the little hanger on the back of the frame and then attach it to the wooden crate. Again, I didn't want it to be a permanent fixture because I wanted my sister to be able to use these pieces as she saw fit. Um, but I like this frame because it actually has the stand on it and she can use that, you know, later on. So that was kind of my mindset between all this. It does not have to be on there firm. It just has to hang on there and I put in all of my the little clothes and outfits I put them all on matching hangers and then I filled the bottom with things from her registry and just some things I picked up and I absolutely love how this came out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I hope you enjoyed this different type of video for me and I will see you in my next one bye guys